Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to be covering how to play Command & Conquer Red Light 2 and its expansion, Your Revenge, in 1080p or higher, and that does include playing back the cinematics. So for this video I'm going to be using the Steam version of the game, which is included as part of the Command & Conquer The Ultimate Collection that's now available on Steam, although if you've already previously purchased this collection on the EA app, then the steps covered in this video are still going to be applicable. So the first step is to add support for modern resolutions. Now, since this game did come out in 2000, at the time the maximum resolution that you could specify is 1024 by 768 which of course is going to look stretched on today's 1080p displays or even higher. That being said, it is possible to tell the game to necessarily support your maximum resolution for your monitor. And all it really involves is you basically editing a single INI file and it's more specifically it's the ddraw combat INI file. So to find this file, you need to navigate to where the game is installed to. So for example, if you install the game through Steam, then it'll be located at C Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. Now alternatively, if you've got the game through the EA app, then it'll be located instead at C Program Files, EA Games, and then Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. But in either case, once you're in the correct directory, you want to open up the ddraw combat INI file, you can use something like Notepad, and once inside the file, you want to change the line where it says Supported Resolutions, and you want to change that to Native. Once we've done that, we can save the file and then launch Red Alert 2. Okay, so with the game running, you want to type in the word High Res. So, H-I-R-E-S. And what you should hear is a sort of like beeping noise, and that indicates that it's worked. You'll also notice that for some reason there's a weird glitch where the the text doesn't appear, but it's fine. You can just click on it and then click back and it'll be back to normal. So now when you go to main menu and then options, and as you can see, when you click on the set game resolution, you can choose a wide range of different resolutions. In my case, I'm going to go with 2560 by 1440 times 16. And then we'll just go back to the main menu. Now, one thing just to bear in mind, this is only going to apply the resolution to any gameplay and none of the menus will actually be scaled to its chosen resolution. Now, for Year's Revenge, you basically repeat the same process, or, though you will find that in that game, the menus will be scaled up. So now that we've sorted out the resolution, it's time to sort out the cinematics of Red Alert 2. So much like the default game resolutions, the in-game cinematics have also been recorded at lower resolutions. Specifically, they're recorded at 640x480. However, there is a fantastic mod available on Nexus that upscales the cinematics to 1080p in the base game so that you, you no longer effectively watch the video through a keyhole in the middle of your display. And to simply use this mod, you want to click on the Files tab and then download the file here. Basically, just click on where it says Manual Download. Once the file's finished downloaded, you want to extract the archive, which may take a little while to do, as it's quite a large file. So okay, so that's extracted, let's open up the file. And inside, as you can see, there's two files here. So I'm just going to take a copy of those. So I'm going to use Control and C, and then we're going to move across to where the game's located. Again, this is, I'm using the Steam version, so I'm going to paste it into the Steam version. But of course, if you're using the EA version, then just copy it across to that particular location. So I'm going to choose the option here to replace the files in the destination. Now, alternatively, what you can do is you can actually dot all the old files if you don't want to overwrite them, but it shouldn't cause you an issue. Plus, the game itself is quite small, so worst case scenario, you can always verify the cache and pull down the files again. Okay, so that's now copied across. So what it means is that now when you launch the cinematics, they're actually going to occupy a sensible space on the screen and stretch it to cover your resolution. Now, just one final note, you only actually need to do this for Red Alert 2, as the expansion Year's Revenge will correctly stretch the cinematics for you. But with that, you're now playing Red Alert 2 with modern resolutions, as well as appropriately scaled out cutscenes. So in conclusion, Red Alert 2 is probably one of my all time favorite games, and it's certainly one that I played quite a lot when I was a kid. And the fact that I can still play this game over 20 years later, since it first came out, is just absolutely fantastic, especially because I can play it on Windows 11. In either case, thanks for watching this video today. And if you found the video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video so other people can see it, and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this in the future. As always, thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.